This is Priya. She stays here at the Center for Rescued Children in India. Hello, nice to meet you. Priya grew up near Delhi. She always wanted to go to school. But a local woman told her that she could have a better life working in the city. Before long, Priya was convinced to work as a maid. But she had been lied to. She was forced to work for 14 hours every day living in a small room with another girl. She was treated badly by the family she worked for. They were violent and cruel. This went on for a very long time. Then one day, Priya was rescued. Priya is much happier now and she is safe. But sometimes she still thinks back to her past experiences. When I first came to the children's centre, I was often in a daze. I couldn't concentrate and I wasn't sleeping very well. I didn't want to talk to anyone and I didn't want to join in with any activities. Sometimes I would get angry and hit other children. Other times I feel really nervous, like I couldn't relax, I'd sweat and my heartbeat would get faster and faster. I had diarrhea and stomach pain. Sometimes I woke up and my bed was wet. But Priya soon learned that many of the other children were having similar feelings and experiences. I wasn't the only one who had unwanted memories and felt like I was reliving past events. I wasn't the only one who felt scared that I would be sent back. Now, I know that it's common to feel sad, anxious or frightened sometimes and I've learned that it's wrong to use violence. And talking with others is the best way to get rid of anger and start feeling better. With a lot of time, Priya's bad feelings started to get weaker. You may be feeling similar to Priya. You may have a racing heart, bad stomach, feel easily startled. You may be having lots of thoughts about your past and wanting to avoid people. These are common reactions and it is okay to notice them. Over time, they are likely to get weaker. You can have power over them by knowing that others have them too and that they are our body's form of defense. When you are feeling bad, talk to someone you trust. One of your friends or caregiver at the center don't keep your feelings bottled up inside. And if you are ever afraid of an adult again, you have the right to talk to as many other people as you like until you feel safe. Your caregivers can also give you a number to call to get outside help.